asbestos has been here a long time. Uh, it started in, um, the land was first taken up here by Henry Best in um, 1866. We consider, however, they may have been here before that, because in those days, um, quite often, people, before they actually uh, legally acquired land, uh, they actually worked on the land itself. So Henry came here in 1866 and planted his first vines in 1868. That's as far as our record book goes. Uh, he sourced vines from um, a number of sources, but from what we can gather, a lot of them came from down around Geelong. Um, and it was pointed out because of the uh, varieties, a number of varieties we have here, they actually come, a lot of them came from what they call the Busby Collection, which was, uh, which was in Sydney, which is a very famous collection brought out by James Busby, I think, in about the 1840s. So um, uh, we have on this place a, a, a great old collection of vines. A lot of them are in a pretty bad way now, particularly after the drought period of the last 10 years. However, they're still there and they're still of quite, uh, quite interest. And just, re just recently, we've seen a far more, uh, quite a lot of interest in those old vines. Um, Henry continued on until uh, 1913, when he, he died in 1913, his son took over. And uh, my grandfather uh, and uh, great-grandfather purchased Bess in 1920. Um, prior to that, however, we were already vignerons in the area at a place called Rimi, which is about 12 kilometres southwest of here, and we purchased land there, or purchased a vineyard there, in 1893. So, while we came to this place only in 1920, we we're already vignerons in the area in the 1890s. The, um, after the purchase of Bests, uh, at that time uh, things were very buoyant in the early 20s, but then of course the depression came on and things got tougher and tougher. And um, in 1926, uh, uh, due to the economic situation, we were forced to sell our Rimney Vineyard. Um, which gave us a little bit more capital to go on with. And then uh, we went on until um, uh, 1930, when the bank took over here. And actually we lost position in this place for about six months. My grandfather, I'm not sure how he got it back again, but uh, in discussions with the bank, it was costing him more to run it than it was him to run it. So uh, we, we got it back again. Um, how he got it back is lost in the mist of time.